Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today we're going to be talking about Arctic Silver 5. Now I've heard several comments on our YouTube channel about Arctic Silver 5 and is it conductive, Does it, is it something we should use, or is it something you shouldn't use. And so I just wanted to address it here in a video real quick and um, give you guys kind of the scoop. So Arctic Silver 5 as well as pretty much any other thermal compound out there is conductive. It's not electrically conductive, but it is thermally conductive, so it conducts heat. That's what thermal paste is made for, so if you hear people say Arctic Silver 5 or any other thermal paste for that matter is conductive, yes, it is thermally conductive. It is not electrically conductive. Now, one point that people seem to be getting confused at is Arctic Silver 5 and some of the other thermal pastes out there are slightly capacitive. So what's the difference between conductive and capacitive? Capacitive means that it stores a slight electrical charge. So if you look on electronics, and some of you probably already know this, but a capacitor in an electronic circuit is there to store a charge of electricity for a short period of time. So Arctic Silver 5 and some of the other thermal pastes out there are slightly capacitive. So basically this just means that you don't want to use it on something. If there's any circuits that are near where the thermal paste is going to be that are uncovered or something like that where the paste might get onto it and cross two circuits, then you're not going to want to use it in those cases. That being said, there's very, very few times when that would even come into play. Generally, you're using it on a CPU or a GPU and you're using it up on top of the shiny metal die and generally there's nothing near there that's going to cause any problems. We use them on PS4s and Xboxes and there's nothing on a PS4 Xbox APU that would ever cause a problem with this being slightly capacitive. So that's the deal with Arctic Silver 5 and like I said, some other thermal paste out there. And also keep in mind that there's a lot of different thermal paste out there. If you talk to five or 10 different PC technicians or any other tech electronics technicians, they're pretty much all gonna give you the different answer to what their favorite is. So, you know, there's a lot of different thermal paste out there. The main thing you gotta remember is choosing the correct one for your application and how it's gonna be applied. Just keep that in mind. Arctic Silver 5 is a great paste for just general application. We use it in pretty much everything we do and it works great. But there are also other thermal paste out there that do perform a lot better. We generally go for a high quality paste at a lower, not necessarily lower, but at a, at a good price. So we're getting a good value on the paste. So keep that in mind when thinking about your thermal paste and what you choose. I haven't done any big studies. There's lots of studies out there on Google you can check out if you would like to know more about what you should choose. But this is just applying to Arctic Silver, Silver 5 in particular. Keep in mind also, I'm not paid to say any of this. This is just a product we use a lot and we like. It's nothing I've been paid to say, but I just wanted to clear it up since I have had several comments in the comments, sec in the comments section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.